Hello, this is hl7startakit.com. Welcome. Um, I'm shooting this video for those who have um, never installed Mirth Connect on a Windows machine. Uh, I had already, there's already another video for the Mac version. I'll put the link in the bottom of this video. Feel free to check that one out as well if you have a Mac. Um, this one is for Windows. So we're going to do, do this in three easy steps. First, we're going to download Mirth Connect from the Mirth website. Then we'll just install it on your Windows computer. And then finally we'll launch it to ensure it actually works and the installation was successful. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Just go to Google. I'm going to do this live. And type Mirth Connect. Uh, Google will display Mirth Connect website at the very top. You just click the Downloads link. I'm going to try to rush. I don't mean to rush, but I just want to make sure we can get through this pretty quickly. Uh, and here are the versions of Mirth Connect. We're going to do the Windows for XP, Vista, 7, or Server. Pretty much any Windows um, operating system out there. Uh, here's a Mac version if you need the Mac. Again, this I, I uh, did a video for that. Uh, if you have Linux, but we have Windows. And I have a 32-bit version, so I'm going to use the installer. I'm going to click Save File. I have um, Firefox, so Firefox, as you can see, starts to download it. Um, it's pretty, relatively quick. It's 117 megabytes, so it's a pretty large executable file. But this is all you're going to need. Uh, in order to use Mirth Connect, so no worries, just download the executable and once it's done, you just just launch it. And here we go, almost done. And here we are. I can just click it right from here. And okay, sorry about that. There it is. Okay, I click Run. My computer's a little slow here, but it'll catch up. Probably because I'm recording as I install this. And there we go. I'm going to click yes. Trust Mirth Connect. And here's the wizard. Now, I'm going to accept all defaults. Here's your agreement. Here's the path. I'm just going to click next. Next default port, next, uh, windows, yes, allow access. If you get these prompts, just allow everything. Again, next, accept all defaults. Oh, you may want, to, may want to make note of the installation path. I like to do that. Next, yes. And there it goes. And this is version 3.0.3, .3, which I actually also use um, professionally at work. So it's a pretty cool version. Really neat features. But I just want to install it and uh, make sure it runs. Run Mirth Connect. Don't need that. Let's run it. I have Windows 7, by the way. That's why all these prompts. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's running. You can't... Oh, it's recording. I can see a little M here at the bottom at my taskbar. So that's good. Uh, where is it? Where's Mirth? It's supposed to run it. Uh, okay. You will need the Java um, application on your machine, the Java A R uh, Java the J R E, but that should be part of the installation too. I've never had any issues with that, especially if you're on Windows. 
Um, so let's see if this will run. Perfect, there it is. Also take note, I actually ran this through the server manager and I clicked administrator, but if you want to, you can also go to your browser and enter this path. So just take, again, take note of this port. Oh uh, no, it's giving me, giving me issues here. Eighty forty four, not eighty thirty three, yeah, eighty forty four. I want to add exception here. Let's see if it lasts by. Yes. Okay. So you have a choice of running it through the administrator, the actually the Mirth Connect server manager, and clicking administrator, or going straight to your web browser. Either way, you're going to get the same box. Um, as you can see you're going to get the same login screen. This, the one on the right was this, was a login screen from when I accessed uh, Mura through the web browser and the one on the left was a login screen from when I kicked the administrator button. So, And by default, I believe the username is admin and the password is admin. Yes. Actually, I can probably run multiple instances. Let's give it a shot. Admin. Oh. Admin. Admin. I'm just going to keep everything. Admin. Obviously, you're going to want to put, you don't probably want to put real information in there. I'm just trying to get through. And there it is. Here's Mirth. And it's installed, and you can see it's running. You get messages here. Connect your log. Here are your channels. Well, I'll have another tutorial on how to create a channel and how to actually take a message and flow it through Mirth um, completely. But for now, I just wanted to show you the installation. And that should be it. Actually, let's let's go in here and see if we can't get multiple instances running. Yes. So here's one instance of Mirth on my computer. Right here. And this is the other instance of Mirth on my computer right here with the one that I had access from the administrator panel. Um, pretty cool. So that's it. We, we did three easy steps. We downloaded, we installed, and we launched it. Actually, we launched it with multiple um, instances, which is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, visit hl7starterkit.com if you haven't already. Like this video and um, subscribe to my channel, and let's connect. Thank you very much. Have a good day.